Facebook Insights, very important for marketing. And especially if you are managing your page or the pages of others, Facebook pages, you need the Facebook Insights and you also need a way in which to drill down and analyze data at dif in, in different perspectives. If you've ever exported your Facebook Insights into Excel, then you know that it creates a very large workbook containing many different pages or spreadsheets of data that you can analyze. And an easy way to analyze your data is to use an Excel pivot table, which I'm about to show you. And this is Donna Gilliland with Most Training, social media speaker and trainer. Again, this video will not be longer than five minutes and it'll be worth it for you to stay with me for this. I have downloaded or exported the Facebook Insights for a page for the first three months of uh, 2011 and I'm on the key metrics page. Before I begin though, you need to know this if you are working say on the key metrics. The second row are descriptions of what each column of information represents and that's helpful for you but it's not something that needs to be part of the pivot table data. So I want you to start by cutting that row and I'd go ahead and just paste it in the row above and insert an extra row because you, if you don't, Excel will think that row belongs to this data. That's why we needed that extra row. Now that you've cleaned that up, made it ready, then you have only to click somewhere in the actual data and click insert and choose pivot table from the tables group and I go with the defaults I do want mine in a new worksheet and here I have a new worksheet and, uh, and on the right hand side is a pivot field list and it lists for you every single field that is in the spreadsheet that you started from and from here I just want to do something simple, although I want you to know you can get very detailed if you like, but we only have five minutes. So here's a simple run. I'd like to see the dates and the daily new likes that this page is getting on each date. But I want to drill down even further than that. I'd like to see it compared by months. Here we go. I want the dates to appear in columns in my pivot. And down below you have four zones you can work with and I'm going to drag date down to the column labels zone which will in turn cause those dates to appear in my pivot over here on the left and there are my dates. Now I also want to see my daily new likes on those dates. If you click a numeric field Excel will automatically assume that you want to sum up those numbers and it will add it in the values box down below and I do want to sum up those daily new likes and then here it is it says sum of daily new likes right here in the pivot and it goes day by day and you can see them but as I said earlier I'd like to compare them by month so I've got a three month period here and I'd like those dates grouped by month you can uh, right click a date that's the quick way without having to go back to the options ribbon and choose group you can right click a date any date and choose group the default is to group by months that happens to be what I want although you could change it to anything else that you needed I'll go ahead and click on OK and there I have it all those dates into more meaningful um, information grouped together my daily new likes for this particular page in January of 2011 it was 21 in February it dropped down to 13 but in March it picked up to 31 so very quickly you can do this comparison of data by using a pivot table now that was just a simple pivot table you can get very detailed you just have to know what it is you want to look at how much you want to drill down into what all you want to analyze you're just a few clicks away if you have any questions, feel free to pop over to my Facebook site and ask me more about pivot tables and I'll be glad to answer. But that's all for now. I hope you found this tip helpful and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.